Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles, and I welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Bro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, to base entertainment, and where we give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. I got a lot of things that I want to discuss today in this episode, so you definitely want to stick around for this. I got a lot to say. But before we do that, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Anyway, let me get into this topic here. So yesterday was one of the most entertaining days uh, in sports for me, right? It was very, very entertaining. So um, we all know that Skip Bayless is a huge Michael Jordan supporter. He makes no, see, that's not a secret, right? We all know this. And we also know that Shannon Sharp is a huge LeBron James supporter. So whenever they bring up the, you know, the topic item of, you know, the greatest player of all time, you know, they're going to be fireworks on Undisputed. And yesterday was no exception. I've heard these guys go back and forth many times before, but yesterday took the cake for me. So what were they discussing? Recently, USA Today put out a list of their greatest players of all time, right? I think um, I think it went up to 75 or something like that for the NBA's anniversary. And yesterday they were discussing the top 10, right? And the list that you know USA Today had, at least their top five, really this is what we were debating, what they were debating, they had Jordan, LeBron, Kareem, Magic, and Wilt Chamberlain, right? And during the show, Skip Bayless, because during this segment at least, you had um, Chris Broussard who spoke first, you had Shannon Sharp who went second, and then Skip Bayless who went last. And during that segment, or whatever, during that yeah, segment in the show, Skip Bayless took huge exception with LeBron James being ranked the number two player of all time. Now, here's the funniest thing that was happening. While I was listening to this, I had my ear pods on, so I was moving around in the house, and I think I was microwaving something, right? And and as I left the, the living room while I was listening, Skip Bayless said something, and I damn near, like, fell, like, I damn near fell on the floor, like, laughing. It was so, like, it was just like, wow, did he just say that? It was so much. Like, I just bursted out laughing, right? So what does Skip Bayless say? When it came to his turn to talk, he said that he had LeBron James ranked as the ninth greatest player of all time, right? The ninth greatest player. And I definitely, definitely disagree with him on that, right? I don't think there are eight players uh, that have played basketball that are better than LeBron James. I don't, I don't, I don't think that. And just for, you know, just for clarity's sake, right? Just for the sake of this purpose, uh, the purpose of this video, let me quickly give you guys my top five. So my top five consists of, in order, Jordan, uh, Kareem, Kobe, LeBron, and Bird. Those are my that, that's my top five, right? I definitely think Kobe's better than uh, than LeBron. That one I concur with Skip Bayless wholeheartedly. I don't even think uh, that's not a question, um, uh, you know, in my mind. But as Skip Bayless was debating, right, or as he was saying his point, he said something that really, really surprised me, and I was shocked. That he said it on live TV. So for those of you guys who missed it, I want you guys to take a listen to Skip Bayless sort of explaining his list and his point and listen to the thing that he said towards the end of the clip, because that's really what I want to hone in on. So before we go too far, take a listen to that. Stop. I'm so shook up by everything I just heard. It's hard to refocus on the most glaring problem with this list. The, the disqualifying, horrifying problem with this list is who is ranked second on this list. What? What's wrong with it? LeBron James is a point guard slash two guard who is a lousy three-point shooter. He's really a lousy jump shooter, and he is an abominable free throw shooter. They're called free throws. In the last five seasons, four times he's been under... 70 percent it's embarrassing it's disqualifying it for him to be second on this list and this list is filled with cold-blooded basketball killers yeah that's what give me the ball it. and get out of my way killers starting with that guy at the top of the list who should be actually on a list of his own in his own universe he doesn't even belong michael jordan on this list he should be on another one by himself but LeBron does not belong at two or three or four or five on this Stop list. It, Skip. I, I got him at nine, and I can make a strong case. No, you you should, oh, I, I got him nine. below Larry Bird. But let's just take the, the Laker legends, shall we? 
He's not better than Magic Johnson or Shaquille O'Neal or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or especially Kobe Bean Bryant. And Shannon, you brought up, oh, he's a better three-point shooter than Kobe. Was he a better shooter than Kobe? Help me out. He's a better player better than Kobe. Better shooter than Kobe? Better player. Let's just stop it. Player. We're talking about the closest thing to Jordan I've seen since Jordan was Kobe Bean Bryant, the late and the great. Right. And he's just better. He's more valuable. All four of those Laker legends are more valuable overall than LeBron James. No, stop it. I'm starting no, it. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, Number no. two on this list, it's like political correctness run them up. Nah, Skippy ain't doing it. It's what, because what? they don't want to burn bridges to LeBron's inner circle. Inner circle do what? Yeah, yeah, they run pro basketball and sports in general. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I got to say, I am very, very surprised that Skip Bayless said that on live TV because essentially what he did was he let the cat out of the, he let the cat out of the bag, right? He let the cat out of the bag. And when he said that, what well, we couldn't show you is the clip because we don't own the rights to that clip. When he said that, Shannon Sharp got very quiet. He didn't say a, a mumbling word and, and uh, Chris Broussard didn't say anything, right? And I think the reason they didn't say anything, especially Shannon Sharp, um, is because he knows it's true. Now, we did a video recently where I said, um, could Shannon Sharp become the biggest um, face in sports as far as, far as um, sports media? And I think he could, and I, and I said I thought he could pro uh, probably overtake um, uh, Stephen A. Smith. However, I said, in my personal opinion, I think Shannon Sharp's Achilles heel is LeBron. I think whenever he talks about LeBron James, he loses all objectivity. All of it, all of it goes out the window. He just starts saying anything like he'll say anything, you know, you, you know, he doesn't believe what he's saying. It's so obvious he doesn't believe it. Sometimes he'll shout and blah, 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 but I don't believe it. We all know that Shannon Sharp and LeBron James are close. We know that he knows his inner circle. We know that he's part of his inner circle. He, we, we know this, right? It was something that Joy Taylor, who used to work with the show, alluded to. It was something that uh, Steven Jackson alluded to that they were being paid under the tape that he was being paid under. This is what I heard, right? This is what they said. This is what this we were. Uh, this is what we. Uh, this is what we reported on, and I definitely think there's a lot of truth to what Skip Bayless is saying, right? I definitely think that. Uh, why? Because it's it's clear that this is the case at ESPN. ESPN is LeBron James's network, and it's something that um, uh, Stephen A. Smith used to complain about a lot years ago. What he was saying was, and basically what Skip Bayless said, Skip Bayless basically said, um, LeBron James in a circle runs sports and pro basketball. That is the truth. It's something that Sk uh, Stephen A. Smith complained a lot about. He used to say LeBron has this obsession with controlling the narrative. He said he has an obsession. He said it's something that makes him sick to his stomach, that he always wants to control the narrative, control the narrative. And you remember he used to make that joke uh, on the bottom of the screen, a great father, great philanthropist, great entrepreneur, great basketball player. He used to do that because I think it was pressure that he was feeling from his inner circle. So when Skip Bayless made that point and he said that they were saying that to be politically correct, I think he does have a point there, right? I think he has a point there. Why? I've listened to so many NBA players, former NBA players that turn into analysts and commentators, whatever it is, come on TV. When they first started their gig, their gigs, they would ask him, who's the best player? He would say Jordan, Kobe. All of them would say Jordan, Kobe, blah, 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 blah. As time went on, as time went on, they started to change their tune. They started to include LeBron James more and more, Steven Jackson, so many guys, right? And you're like, what happened? What? Why did you all of a sudden change? When they started off, they said exactly what, excuse me, what they thought. But as time went on, they had this, if you like, if you didn't say LeBron, it's like, oh my God. And whenever um, they put out these lists or these different things, the media always says, well, is this a slight of LeBron? And did he say this? Alan Iverson put out this list. Is this a slight of LeBron? It's like they try to make sure that they include him in every single list or something like that. That's engineered. Right. That's not by chance. These topics are chosen and whatever it is. And I think that's what Skip Bayless was speaking to. And I think, quite frankly, he just had enough of it. Now, what was surprising was that he said it on TV. That <laughs> surprised the hell out of me. But I think it was true. I think it was true. With that being said, though, I do disagree with the fact that he has LeBron James ranked number nine. I thought that was just come on. It was it, 
It, it was so funny, but I also think it's a testament to just how much Skip Bayless doesn't think LeBron James is that dude. I thought, like, come on, he, re like, he really doesn't believe that he's that dude. And finally, I want to say this last point. As I was watching that video, watching him go back and forth, sometimes, 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 I'm like, man, I wish, you know, I could be up there and debate, you know, Shannon Sharp and some of these guys about some of their topic points, because a lot of them, um, when we're talking about the greatest player of all time, a lot of them are very terrible, uh, to be quite honest with you. To be quite honest with you, makes a lot of terrible, uh, terrible, terrible arguments. I think a lot of the people that they appeal to are people that really don't know basketball very well. It's a very, I think as a younger audience that probably doesn't do any research, so you can get a lot of things over, over their heads very easily. Saying stuff like, who is the better shooter? Talking about LeBron, like, this is absurd. This is, this is madness, right? But nevertheless... Um, they say it. I hear a lot of bad arguments and Skip Bayless doesn't pick up on them for whatever reason. So sometimes I get the urge like, man, let me just give me a 10 minute segment. Let me just d d destroy uh, these guys because that's literally what I would do. Literally, if I had an opportunity to, 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 to debate, you know, Jordan, who's if Jordan's the best, LeBron, I don't even think it's close. And, you know, um, <laughs> I know that would probably never happen. But if we were given an opportunity, I would destroy these guys when we're talking about that. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't it, would, it wouldn't even be uh, Shannon Sharp probably reach across the table and punch me across the face. But it would be too much. Right. Uh, <laughs> Nick Wright would want to try to choke me or something because. I would definitely roast these guys to pieces. So, um, apart from that, I just thought it was just—I thought I just thought it was crazy. So, what I want to know from you guys is: number one, do you believe uh, Skip Bayless when he says LeBron James is in a circle, runs the NBA? Number two, what do you think about him ranking LeBron James number nine all time? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.